So now we'll um, write the code to for the barcode scanner. So that should be pretty simple. I mean, I've done it before. It's pretty simple. So um, <laughs> sorry. Let me remove this. Okay. We're gonna use this barcode scanner library. If I could find it, I have it in here. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so yeah, to install it, you just add this to your public spec .yaml. It actually tells you. So <laughs> you can do Flutter public get, uh, get, but it has a little link. <laughs> you can just put packages, click packages get. So we'll put it right under. Oh man. Sorry, I have cap lock still highlighted. So, um, so I'm using VAM. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. We'll do packages get. We'll let that download and add it to the project. Um, it'll say done when it. So I believe it'll say done or process finished with exit code zero. So yeah, that means it's successfully downloaded. So we'll need to import. Um, barcode scan dot dart in my home page and well actually before that um, we need to do these um, things for <laughs> so I can think for Android we need to add this to the Android manifest so, okay, I might have camera permissions already, we'll check. But the way out, uh, can you do Flutter? Yeah, you could right click on Android right there and then go to Flutter then open Android module and Android Studio. So it'll open up the Android uh, project basically in Android Studio. So the project that Flutter builds so the um, app, the app manifest is always in app source main Kotlin or not Kotlin it's right here app source main and so it doesn't have the um, permissions yet so we'll add that right now so uh, we add that above sorry I'm not the wrong one. Uh, Above the application. Yeah, we'll check this probably because we need. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it doesn't even know. So, oh, yeah, we have to do the Colin stuff too. So, I'll just show you though. Android add, in case you didn't know, add permissions to. Um, manifest. I'll just go to the docs. So, I'll just show you. Oh, that's not a good <laughs> example. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna get an example of permissions for you. So you just add for permissions. Yeah, you basically it's in the manifest, but it's above everything else. So in the mat, it tells you right here. You must declare all permission requests. The user permission element in the manifest. Well, <laughs> I was thinking they meant the manifest tag, but yeah. But directly in the manifest tag is what I was trying to get at. But anyways, um, so we need to copy the other stuff. So we need to put this inside of the application um, tag. So I'll just put under this activity. 
Twitch. It didn't copyright. But uh, I only okay. I only copy. Uh, what is my computer doing? Okay, so we'll copy that there. And then um, yeah. So project level Gradle. Um, but it says project right here, so <laughs> that's how you know. Um. Yeah, they have it like that already. They have a higher version, actually. And your app level Gradle says app, right? Well, that's kind of how I know. I mean, I, I've done Android for a long time, so before I flutter, so I kind of know. So, um, apply Puglin, Kotlin, Android. Won't they already? Yeah, they already have that here. So I was thinking. Um, I'm just going. Yeah, they already have all of this other stuff. So this is all. Don't use that. It's 1.00. So in iOS, we would need to do the same thing. So it's the same thing. Um. All right, so I'll just, wait, is this, that's the wrong one. So I'll close this um, Android project, and we'll do the same thing. Right-click on iOS, go to Flutter, open iOS module in Xcode. You know, we just have to add these to the plist. So I'm not going to actually open the <laughs> plist file. You can actually open it. I've never done it like that before. <laughs> so I've, I also know iOS. <laughs> native iOS and Android, so this is the way I always, I've always done it. So, um, let me just make sure. And it's cap. You can actually start typing. I believe they already know what that is. Man, why did you come up? Okay. Okay. So you just click this little plus right here. So when you open Xcode. It will, it will be it'll probably be right here first. You click info plist, which is under runner. So, anyways, um, on the information property list, you click the plus button, plus button. I'm sorry, I can't talk. And it's can us camera. I thought it already had. So anyway, never mind. I'll just copy that. I'll oh, see. I knew it was something else. When I type that, it automatically filled it for me. So it's privacy. That's what I thought it was. So privacy camera. Well, I'll delete it just to show you. So you can also do You can copy and paste that, or you can just do privacy. It's probably better just to copy. So camera. Use the description. So same thing. You just copy camera permission. It's required for barcode scanning. You can change this to be whatever you want, but just make sure it's appropriate for the app, for what the app is doing. Okay. So that's it. So <laughs> I can't run this in the simulator, but I'll record, screen record both iOS and Android on my iPhone and on my actual iPhone and Android devices. So.